with me today I've got the Draycott Concept light, the original one with the side bolt action. This particular one belongs to uh, Steve Attenborough or Rats as we know him. Uh, one of the Tinsley Park Shooting Club members. It's got a small suppressive fitted to this one that I think Cliff Kirkman made for him. But to be honest the shroud is really quiet anyway. It's very easy to cock. Some people say they're hard to cock but I don't find them hard at all. Just the way you cock it. I find the best way to do it. To get your thumb. Put it on the breech as you pull it back rather than pulling it with your arm. But it's light anyway. Uh, the action on this is very similar to uh, Braycock Compate. Uh, probably is the same to be honest. Uh, but really nice, lightweight to shoot. Concept because it's uh, it's new and innovative. It's got an adjustable book pad at the back. Slide forward and back. Pr pretty solid to be honest. Uh, fill probe, it's got a dust cover on it and it's located underneath the rifle and it's also got the manometer on the front as well a lot of people don't like that but when you talk about manufacturing it's the most economical way to do it rather than be drilling holes in the side of the uh, stock and everything so then, this particular one's got three Picatinny rails on both sides and underneath there are options for a Picatinny rail that goes on the barrel as well on top to give you more, more options uh, Rats has got the Optisan EVX 6x24x56 illuminated scope on, a really nice scope. You'll get to see a view through that later. Uh, the grips on these particular rifles, on all the Brococks actually, are AK grips. The actual adjustable books are AR grips, so you've got Russian and American on it. But uh, you, you can have any any style of uh, grip or book pad, and that's uh, that's another reason it's called a concept. It's uh, it's one that can be adjusted to your own liking. Uh, safety on this is a paddle safety in front of the trigger. So with the index finger, you can switch it off, and with the thumb of the other hand, you can switch it on. Right, some of the specs on the rifle. Uh, overall length 33 inches, that's without a silencer. It's a 17 inch choke barrel. The weight on these are unscoped and unbipodded and shrouded, uh, silenced are 6.5 pounds or 2.9 kilogram. Calibers come in 177, 22 and 25. Uh, the 25 is at FAC only and uh, it's capable of 40 foot pound. I've actually fired one of them, lovely to shoot. Uh, I find them just as easy to shoot as uh, a non-FAC rifle. Uh, Uma regulated on all the uh, grey cocks now. Uh, magazine is 10 shot, which is removable. You can, you can load it single shot with a single shot loader. Uh, the air cylinder is 150 cc's. Uh, maximum power, if you've got an FAC, 177 in is 18 foot pounds. But then again, that's uh, that's all dependent on your type of projectile. I suppose if you, you've got to have enough pellet, but it's 18 foot pound in 177, 30 in 22. If you've got slugs, you could probably get more out of it. And like I say, 40 foot pound in 25. Uh, maximum shot count is 150 shots in 22. So you're going to get about 100 in 177 old as well, at least, maybe 120. It's a two-stage adjustable trigger. I didn't need to adjust it, it was, it was okay straight out of the box. Uh, multiple power adjuster is on the side. Uh, one, two, there's two settings on this. I think the FACs have about five. Uh, 
on the new XR models, which is side leather, they've got a revised hammer and valve system. This one's got, I think, it's got the Arca Slingshot hammer in it, but uh, the new ones haven't. They've all been redeveloped with side leather, and that's right across the range, and they're all known as XRs now. Uh, resettable safety caps, which is a paddle, like I say, at the front. Uh, collapsible stock, which is the AR style. Uh, full length built in baffled moderator with adaptive for second stage silence. So, well, as I say, it's very quiet without one, so you could do you don't have to get one. Uh, as you can see on this particular model, fitted a bipod. You can get uh, the adaptable one, just take it off like that. But uh, you can get grips for them as well. But, uh, if you're shooting on a farm unit from a vehicle, they're ideal. Or just going around the field. Uh, in the back of the, the actual uh, stop there, they've got an hole there that you could put a, a swivel in. Uh, and you can always fit a swivel stood on the Picatinny rail. And if you've got a, a bipod on it, it's got one anyway. So you can sling it if you want. But uh, really nice. Probably one of my favourite rifles along with the Commander actually. Uh, but yeah, that is the uh, very hot concept light. So I'm going to do the short range 20 yard field test with six pellets and uh, scope side view shot. And then tomorrow we'll get down the range and uh, stretch its legs out. So uh, we'll get on with the video. Okay, I'm going to start off by charging the rifle. <coughs> Calls it its own uh, little probe. <coughs> There's a dust cover that you need to slide around. <coughs> and if we look just underneath the rifle, there it is. In there. And now uh, fill it to 200 ball. Right. Okay, there was uh, 140 bar in it. That's where it stabilised. Nice and slow. Okay, it's 200. Press the bleed button. Pull out the probe. Turn the dust cover around. that completely filled rifle ok 
Okay then, I'm going to load some uh, pallets and see how it works. Basically drop one in, like that, and turn. That's basically it. Just rotate till it's full. It does hold itself in place. I think I went too far there. And if that happens, just there, there's a little metal bit. Just there, look. If you click that, it goes back one. So if you think you've missed one, you can go back. The last one. And that's how you load the magazine. So what we'll do next is uh, load the rifle. Okay then rifle loads from the left hand side. Just put it on top. Shove it in. Push the bolt forward. And it's loaded. Okay then, got the Broker concept light in front of me, it's fitted with an Optisan EVX 6x24x56 illuminated scope, got the target set up at 20 yards, first one will be the Sovereign at 10.3, then got a Sovereign at 10.44, and I've got a big one. BSA Max at 1049. Okay, bolt is back. Safety is on. Magazine loads from the left. Bolt forward. Let's 
see where it's shooting. Ten times on the uh, on the zoom, going for the centre black. Safety off. Spot on. 128. So I'm going to go for the uh, left hand 10 millimeter dot. 721 724 That's it. So pretty impressed with that. Nice group. These will be according to the JSPs. Right. So same again. And back stock solid. No rattles or anything. Can go for the uh, black centre again. They're slightly higher to be expected, they're lighter. to shoot, very easy to cut, uh, very smooth, ideal little uh, for carrying around the fields. Okay. Max, one in the centre. Seven hundred three. Can go for the uh, top left. Seven hundred thirty three. Seven hundred thirty four. 
hundred ninety six six hundred seventy seven seven hundred ten six hundred eighty six hundred ninety four six hundred seventy seven six hundred eighty four six hundred eighty four could be it. Six hundred eighty seven. Says no. It's not too bad, actually. Not too bad. It did drop from the point of aim, at least I was aiming in the centre. So it's just a matter of adjustment really. Dropped about half a mil to where I was aiming at. That's easy enough uh, to compensate it with. Either by mil dot or the toilet. Might fire some more different pallets for it, see if it uh, see if it's pallet for sure or not. So far not too bad. Just busily magnums, 10.65 grain. That's before one in the centre to start off with. That's it. Form well as usual. This is Magnum's. Okay. The RDS WS Superfield, about eight eight pound eighty they were. These are the kind of pellets that a lot of the uh, Springer people use. I think we'll probably do well actually. But if that's it. On in the middle. So that's the Audi Rest Super Field. There are shaped barrels on these, but uh, it's not pellet fussy at all, isn't it? If there's anything out of this lot that's going to make it not shoot well, it's the, uh, the fuel target tray for greens. And the only reason I'm going with these is to see what a light pellet was for it. Uh, I've got the settings for this set for the US because I know the velocity should be high. Uh, Okay, I'll move these up. Sorry about that, I missed some of the shots there. Camera cut off. Uh, one on the top right is the uh, Bisley Magnum. 
and the one on the uh, bottom left is the RWS Superfield. So the last one up is the H&M uh, uh, Field Target Trophy Greens. I say because they're a, a light pellet, they're going. I have lost this seat. I've put, left it on the American settings, otherwise it might not pick it up. Still a pellet going on it. Right. There we go then. magazine out because you'll have to do your double feed it. Grouping above the point of aim because it's so light, and the further down range it gets, the more it will be affected by wind, and the more it will drop off. So it might start off at a really high speed. It's far an equivalent pellet in uh, so 8844. By the time they got to 20 yards, the 844s will be going faster than these light ones. And that's the way it works. We don't think an high velocity pellet is going to uh, keep the energy up, it won't, not on a light pellet like this. Good. Shots, so uh, we we'll top the rifle and see uh, what air is left in it. Topped it up to 200 bar if you remember. So when this clicks, that'll let me know what's in it. About 120 bar. So, uh, it's about a bar per shot. Something like that, just under, over. So, you're going to get I'd say around a hundred usable shots out of the fill. Read the air. Place the dust cover. And that's it. Right. So as you can see from there, twenty odds. They're all grouping how they should be. There's no, nothing pellet forcey there. So the rifle, as far as pellets go, looks like they'll shoot anything. On FAC versions, they shoot slugs very well as well. So this is the uh, original concept 
Um, as we all know now, I should imagine you all know, they've now come up with a brew cup concept Etor, which is a side lever and it's got new valving and uh, hammer system to it. That's supposed to be even better, so uh, yeah, very nice uh, rifle to shoot. Uh, what I will do, I'll get my uh, camera scope mount and show you the view through this Optisan scope, it's really nice uh, reticle on it. So what I'll do, I'll do a set, try and set the scope up the, best, the uh, camera up as best I can. I'll do some shots downrange with one of the pellets I've just shot. So uh, I've done the sand, I've done the uh, chronographing. So tomorrow morning I'll go down range and uh, test it out further out, similar to what I did with the uh, my last test with the Red Wolf Safari. But, uh, yeah, really like the rifle. I'd love to get one of these. And might still get one yet, hopefully. But, uh, next up, scope side view. Is the RWS Superfields? What did quite well to be honest. That's it. So that's your scope's eye view.